to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've got my Anais Lifelike Aliana hand here. You can get 5% off using my code NATMUG5. I've put tips in her ready to go. If you want to sculpt, do check out yesterday's video using the forms fix that are brand new from Aliana hand. Um, they're quite exciting. So in today's video, I'm going to be using Acrogel. Here I'm just making sure the tips are all roughly the same size. The Acrogel I'm using is Nelkami's Aura. And I've got Cover Natural, which is a pink. I haven't used Acrogel in a very long time. But from what I remember when I did use Acrogel, I would always use way too much. So do bear that in mind. These nails are going to look horrific until they're filed and then they're gonna look somewhat better so do bear that in mind <laughs> so i've got one of these duo brushes with the with the like the gel brush on one end and the spatula on the other end and in my pot my little bottle there my pump dispenser bottle thing i've got some it's isopropyl alcohol to dampen my brush if you want to you could use isopropyl alcohol you could use a gel cleanse you could use i wouldn't use acetone um but you know that kind of thing um isopropyl alcohol gel cleanser something like that and you don't need masses of that on your brush you just want a damp brush and you're going to know when your brush isn't damp enough because the product is going to start sticking to your brush so as soon as the product starts to stick to the brush that's when you just want to give it a wipe and then re-dampen it and yeah that's going to help you manipulate your product so i am using the nelkumi aura acrogel in cover natural to create my nail bed they do have, from what I remember, they do have lots of different coloured acrogels, like pastels, and I think they've got some bright colours, and I think they probably have got some other, you know, like nail bed colours on their website. I'll try and remember to pop their website down below so you can have a look, but once I'm happy with my nail bed, um, don't forget, we are. I am going to file it. I'm going to repeat the same steps on the other three nails. Now, I mean, bear in mind, I always use way too much product. So, <laughs> it's true. The evidence is right in front of your face right now. I'm going to wipe these over. And then before I move on to the next step, I'm just going to file around the smile line and a little bit over the top just to kind of neaten up the nail so that yeah because i just need especially the smile line i want that nice and neat before i move on to the next step so i'm just going to use my file and sort that out on all of the nails and once we're done so there's still quite a lot of product on there so i, I do i am gonna have to file a bit more off but i'm gonna use madam glam's new neon gel paints to create a very subtle line between the nail bed no the smile line sorry and the rest of the design i love this look it's, it's a very very fine line the only thing is bear this in mind I put my gel paints on too thick and when I was filing them I noticed that some of the product hadn't completely cured all the way through so I do end up doing two coats but the coats I've put on are quite thick so that is something for next time that I'll have to remember two thin coats see I'm putting way too much on if this was gel paint it might be a slightly different story but because they're very they're, they're gel paints and gel paints tend to be a bit more opaque um and need a bit more curing although i did cure them for 60 seconds but i i look, i'm obviously putting it on way too thick here um but this is the second coat doesn't matter if you go over the top because we are going to file a bit more off these so there we go that's going to go in the lamp for another 60 seconds that's our second coat and then i'm going to repeat the process on the other nails using the pink the green and the yellow and as if by magic there they are right the next step is we're going to use the bright white aura acrogel from nailchemy and again i use way too much don't judge me it's just a thing i do it just look <laughs> Do you want a bit more now with your acrogel nuts? 
Um, but yeah, probably. Uh, so with this bit, I want to make a... Oh God, just the state of it. Oh my goodness. I just I can't go. <laughs> Thank heavens for e-files is all I'm saying. Um, so I'm going to put this on and I'm going to bring the aqua gel down into a slant. Please don't worry that it, it looks horrendous. Um, we are going to file them, but if you are, if you don't have an e-file and you file by hand, do I, I would recommend probably not using as much product as I do. It just, I don't know, I don't know what happens. I just always end up using way too much. Don't worry too much as well because I am going to cure this and then I'm going to file it. So I'm going to give that a file. No, sorry, give it a cure, 60 seconds. I'm going to do the same thing on all of these three nails. Oh, I just can't cope. <laughs> I'm going to wipe them now again with some isopropyl alcohol because they're going to they're going to have the reason I'm I'm wiping over them is because they'll have a sticky layer. And I just want to file them. I'm going to make sure that those little slants or those that little what do you want to, what, what would you call it? Is it a slant? I don't know, but that edge is nice and sharp, and nice and crisp. Don't worry about filing over the top. You just want to make sure that that line is nice and, you know, nice and sharp. Okay, I've done that to all of the others. And now I've got blueberry bonbon, lemon drop, lime lollipop, marshmallow sprinkles. These are iridescent glitters from Nail Sugar. They are part of the Candyland collection. Um, so you, you can't buy them individually. You have to buy them as a set. But I promise you it's well worth it. There's two or three more colours in the collection as well. And they're all gorgeous. They're lovely. So what I'm going to do is on that last section of nail... I'm using Madam's Gla Madam Glam's base coat and I've popped that on the nail and I'm going to sprinkle some of the glitter into that uncured base coat. It was really tricky holding the hand, holding the tray and holding the glitter all at the same time. So the nail with the green line around the smile line is going to have the green glitter. The nail with the yellow is going to have the yellow glitter and the nail with the pink and the, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. I'm slightly out of shot here. Oh dear, what's new, eh? Tap off the excess. And then we're going to do the same thing with the pink. Tap, tap. And then the same thing with the blue. And then they will go in the lamp for a... I think I cured them for 30 seconds. Sometimes when I do stuff like this, I do like to double cure just to be on the safe side. And then I actually don't have any Nelchemy Clear acrylic uh, Aqua Gel for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I've got this 2B Glam. I thought it was Toby Glam. Um, a few of you kindly pointed out to me in the comments that it wasn't Toby. It was in fact 2B. So thank you very much. Um, this... Aqua gel was from Amazon. It was about $7.99 for a super cheap tube. And it's really it's it's actually I actually really like it, but it's a really weird consistency to work with. Um I can't explain it because I'm rubbish at explaining stuff like that. But as far as clearness goes, you know, like transparency, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna grumble for the price. So I'm just gonna cover the glitter the glitter is that what i'm doing covering the glitter encapsulating the glitter and then i'm gonna give it give him an e-file now this took me about seven days seven to ten days this took me to to, to e-file these uh <laughs> okay not quite that long but it felt like it um also i'm not e-file trained so please don't come at me <laughs> But I gave them a file, and then I gave them a hand file, and then I gave them a buff. And you can see here, can you see in the blue there, that is where um, some of the blue gel polish hadn't cured, and I ended up with a little bit of a gap between. But don't, you know, if you're going to, and actually I think it was on all of them, I had a bit of a, a bit of a boo-boo where the gel paint hadn't cured. But that's my fault for putting it on too thick. But anyway, we are going to top coat now and I'm using Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. I am going to cure one nail at a time because I was worried that if I left that, oh, isn't it pretty, that I was going to knock it with the other fingers. So I thought, right, I'll, um, I'll cure each one at a time. And because I'm a little bit of a cheat, I did like to, I do like to pop, pull the, the finger nail out of the finger a little bit so that I've got a little bit of 
I don't want to get top coat on the skin that's not really skin because it's a practice hand but can you see I've pulled the fingernail out slightly so it's giving me a bit of a gap between the aqua gel and the cuticle area do you see what I mean the cuticle skin or whatever the word is I don't know mm, yeah so now yeah I, and I, I accidentally knocked my thingy so my top coat actually went into the cuticle which you know it's not a real hand so it's not the end of the world but don't judge me again if you're doing it on a real person also they still are I still could have filed off a bit of bulk they were there was still I mean there yeah there's is you know what I mean they are still pretty bulky but you know you know who cares I don't they kind of they still look pretty but they could probably have done with a little bit more filing but you know after seven to ten days of filing you know who wants to file anymore no one really <laughs> shut up nats okay so that's going to go into the lamp for a 30 second cure and that is them finished i absolutely love them don't forget you get five percent off ali and hand using my code natmog5 you can get 10 percent off at nail sugar using my code natmog10 you can get 30 percent off at madam glam using my code natmog30 i think that's all of them um i'll just show you a different view and at the end i'm going to show you a couple of photos because i actually thought they turned out quite nice um, if you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do, can subscribe, do consider subscribing. <laughs> it's completely free. God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one.